Hi guys, my name is Shana and in today's video I'm going to be showing what I pack for my daughter's carry-on case or bag. So for those of you who don't know, um, my partner is Italian so we split our time between England and Italy. So I have been travelling with my daughter who is two and a half now um, since she was born. So I'm still learning and I've picked up tricks and tips on the way of how to travel with a child or a small child. Um, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I personally take for my daughter to keep her amused because she's at that stage now that she is getting bigger, she doesn't want to sit for ages and who can blame her really. So I'm going to get on, so just as a quick um, thing, because now that she pays for her um, seat, we both get a bag, but I still try or I like to travel as light as I can because gone are those days where I can just have a small Costa cup of coffee and a little bag. You know, I've got so much to take. So for the firstly, I just want to quickly go over. I usually take this um, backpack. It's her diaper bag and it's called a city tour diaper bag. Now I'm not going to go into great detail with this because that's not really what this video is. I have done a video about this if you want to go check it out because it's a great bag. But basically all the essentials are going to be in here. Wipes and um, nappy pants. Although she's potty training right now but I still like to use the nappy pants just in case of any accidents, you know, change of clothes, blankets, all the usual stuff is going in here. And then for my daughter, she just has this cute little backpack. Um, I got this one from Primark and it's just to keep the extra little bits, which is what I'm going to show you now. Now, I like to, when I go on the plane as well, I actually use one of these tote bags. Now, I personally got this one from EasyJet because if you um, give them your carry-on case, they charge you five pound and they give you a little tote bag. So this is what I use. But you can get these from anywhere. I mean, Primark has loads of designs as well. So what I use this for is when you're going onto the plane, I like to put all this stuff that I'm about to show you, I like to put in so that I know I've got all of Liana's stuff ready for the plane and I don't have to root through my bag. That's just a tip that I've learned along the way to make it easier because it just throws over your shoulder and I know I've got everything to amuse her in this bag ready for the plane and the other bags I can put away or under my seat. So that's what I find. So firstly, I'm going to start with the essential, an iPad. Now, those of you, not everyone is into iPads for children, but for me, it is essential because I can put all of her favorite programs and games and she's quite happy on that. And it gives mummy some peace and quiet if I need it. Also in the airport, if I have to keep her in her buggy and she doesn't want to be in her buggy, if I put that on for her, I usually find that she's more than happy to just sit and play on it and I can get what I need done in the airport or through security, whatever. So that's the first item. Then I do also have this colouring book. Now this is a bit different and it's a flip one, so it's all different animals. They're all the animals and the colours. But what's cool about this one is that you get this pen and it doesn't have a colour or anything. You fill up this part with water and what you do is you just go over the picture and it colours the picture in for you. And what I love about this as well is that it's reusable. So as soon as it dries, you can keep doing it like over and over and over. So it's just a really handy thing and if she gets bored of the iPad or she just wants to do some colouring, I find this is really, really helpful. Also, um, I do have a traditional colouring book. This is a Peppa Pig one that I got from the pound shop. It's just, you know, all different pictures. And it comes like this, it looks like a little handbag and it's got everything. It's even got stickers as well, which is really handy. And this was only a pound from Primark, but how handy is that? Like, cause all your pens or uh, crayons are in there and it comes with a little handle. And it's just a really good thing to have because as most toddlers, they love to color in or 
use stickers or stuff like that. I do also have this um, doodle pad as well. Um, I found this from the pound shop and I just attached the pen like so, just so we don't lose it. And again, she loves to just draw on this and you don't have to worry about paper and pen, you know, you just carry on. And also I do carry some books for her as well. Um, she's got these leapfrog ones. Now, the reason I take these ones, because she has both Scout and Violet, um, the reason I take these ones is because they're small, so they're much easier to travel with instead of larger books. And sometimes she just likes to read and flip through and um, looking at the pictures and reading. Also, um, I do sometimes take some soft toys with us. Now, we have to have a snuggle. Snuggle has to come everywhere with us, no matter what. So snuggle is essential. And for any of you mummies out there, you know what I'm talking about, right? But also in addition to that, sometimes we take, um, now my daughter at the minute is obsessed with monkeys. I don't know why, but she loves like Curious George and she loves everything to do with monkeys. So she has this really cute um, monkey in pajamas. So sometimes she would bring this one and staying on the monkey theme she does have the monkey fingerling and i will let her bring this you know it's only small and it can hook on and she's just happy to play with that also at the minute as well she is really into trolls so we have this trolls doll and it does sing and say things from the movie so she likes to have just these little toy bits which Sometimes I try to not take the poppy doll, to be honest, because as you can see, it makes a lot of noise and that can annoy people. So, and also she has one of these cushions. She loves to use this because a lot of the time as well, she will still have naps. So she'll just have a sleep on the plane and because she has her own chair, it just makes it easier so she can lie down and just put her feet on me. So yes we have that so that's with the toys and accessory wise I personally find that that's enough for my daughter you may find other things to amuse you but that's enough and also you don't want to carry too much because you've got to carry it and sort it out so that's what I find anyway but for snacks um, I do have this um, lunch box this came with her trunky she does have a trunky which sometimes I will take that instead of her backpack. It just depends what mood I'm in, what kind of holiday we're going on. Um, so I try to keep all of her snacks in here. Um, I personally use any kind of snacks. I'm not really bothered. We use our travel day as a treat day, so I don't mind giving her sweets and crisps and you know the junk food. Um, I do also try and put in fruit in there, you know, apples and banana and stuff like that, just to balance it out, especially if we're traveling for most of the day. Um, I like to do like little sandwiches. So I have this little lunch box. Um, so that is good to keep like any little sandwiches or she likes cheese, my daughter. So little baby bell cheese or anything like that. And um, if I have... Any Liquids, I usually put all like kind of liquidy stuff, like if I've got a yogurt or the, I get those pouch yogurts. But I keep everything liquid in just these little Ziploc bags. I got these from Ikea just because I, I keep everything I need so I can just whip out at security and everything is in there. And usually, to be honest, in the past, obviously before I was a mummy, I'd have all my little like makeup bits and perfume. Honestly, nowadays, I don't tend to bother with that because it's, I, it, I just can't be bothered. So it's usually all of Liana's stuff, to be fair. And that's about it, really. That's basically what I take for my daughter, and she's quite happy with that. Like I said, because she has been traveling since she was a baby, she is pretty good to travel. So I don't usually have a problem. And as soon as I get through security, I just try and find like a play area just so she can get out and about and use her legs and to try and wear her out to see if she will go to sleep. So anyway, that's what I do. Hope you found this um, video helpful. 
and please if any of you have any other tips let me know keep looking for further videos and i'll see you again soon bye